Welcome to your step-by-step -step tutorial of how to set up and operate your own Magic Stitch. Let's have a look at everything that comes in the box. Inside you will find the Magic Stitch, already threaded and ready to go. Three additional bobbins of coloured thread, the threader, the longer pin for those larger spools of thread, a spare needle and finally a piece of fabric for testing. Now let's go from start to finish and prepare your Magic Stitch. First things first, you're going to need to flip it over and remove the battery cover and insert the batteries before you begin. Now Magic Stitch which does come pre-threaded, but for when you need to do this, we're going to show you how to thread the machine. Place your thread of choice on the pin and secure it to the side of the magic stitch, like so. Now make sure that the spring is between the bobbin and your magic stitch. Next, you will feed the end of your thread through the small hole located above the bobbin. Once you've passed your thread through, you'll need to feed it down the product towards the two metal discs. Then place the thread between them so that it hangs down the front of the machine. Now on the underside of the product's arm is a small loop. You need to pass the thread through this and pull it all the way. Now you'll need to take your threader and squeeze it through the eye of the needle. Secondly, you will push your thread through the threader. And finally, you need to pull the thread through the eye of the needle using the threader. Now you have threaded your magic stitch, we recommend pulling the thread further through so you have an additional thread for later on. We'll come back to this shortly. Now that your magic stitch has been threaded, here's how you use it. Using the wheel on the side of your magic stitch, place your needle in its highest position. Now, using one hand and simply raise the fastening plate and place your fabric underneath, then lower the plate. With your fabric now in place, you can begin sewing, holding the product in your right hand and fabric in your left. Simply push and lock the button in position to sew. All fabric will naturally feed through the machine. Once you've finished your stitching, pinch the last stitch so that nothing comes free and let the machine sew for a bit longer. We recommend giving yourself around 20 centimeters of additional thread. Next, you cut in the middle of the thread. On the reverse side of your fabric, you will see the Magic Stitch's chain stitch. To secure this, you'll need to pull the final loop through, like so. To secure this further, use the remaining thread to create a small loop towards the end of the stitch. By sliding your threader underneath the last stitch and pushing the remaining thread through, except for the loop. Then pull the threader back under the stitch. Once you remove that thread, you need to pass it through the the loop you previously created. Simply pull tight into a knot and now you have extremely secure stitching. If you wish, you can perform the same on the other side. Now you know what to get and what to do, so you're ready to use your magic stitch wherever, whenever.